Hello one all, this is my view of Attack on Titan Chapter 128 Trader, and after reading this chapter many, many times over, I'm just left wondering, what's right? What's moral? What's ethically sound? What, what should a person do in this situation? Because it feels like every option is awful. I mean, the series started off so very, very simple. Aaron's a kid. Aaron's mother was eaten by a giant monster. Aaron wants to go fight giant monsters. Very simple! And since then, it just twisted around itself over and over again, becoming more and more complicated. Oh, Aaron is also a Titan. Oh, Titans are people. Oh, our enemies are people. Oh, wait, let's go kill those people. Wait, those people are people. Well, uh, I don't know what to do in this situation. Wait a minute, what, are we even past? Are we the bad guys? What is going on here? I seriously think an ethics professor would have their head explode trying to justify and understand every single person's actions in the series, because... <sighs> quite frankly... I'm a little bit against Armin's whole plan of stopping Aaron. Now, that might seem a little cold, given that Aaron's plan is to kill, let's say, about a billion people, more or less. But at the same time, those people are strangers. Armin doesn't know them personally. He's never met them. He doesn't have any relationship with them. But stopping Aaron would mean, more than likely, that the whole rest of the world would look around and say to themselves, Okay, it's uh, it's about time we kill all the Eldians. I feel like they've served their purpose. Uh, I feel like they're a little too dangerous to, you know, have uh, walking around anymore. So let's just go kill all of them. Make sense? All right, let's do that. I mean, the general even apologizes the chapter for him and all of Marley looking down at the Eldians, hating them for so many years for no good reason. You had a very good reason to hate them. They are literally living weapons. You give any one of them a little injection of Titan spinal cord fluid, put them in the middle of a busy city, and they will destroy everything. And I mean quite literally everything. Uh, and as far as we know, the ODM gear, the 3D maneuvering gear and all that, it's something that's only available, you know, on Paradise Island. You can only use it there. They only have the right materials for it there. So, uh, I don't even know how normal people would even handle a Titan just appearing in the middle of the city. I feel like it would just keep on destroying everything until they manage to get a uh, lucky cannon shot to blow off its neck. I mean, yes, they have more advanced technology in the outside world than they do, you know, on Paradise Island, but a Eldian suicide bomber, an Eldian turning into a Titan in the middle of the city, there's not a whole lot they can do to stop it before it kills tens or hundreds of people and destroys God knows how many buildings. So, yeah, uh... Your apologies are nice, appreciated. Uh, it makes sense you're saying it here now, given you're now teaming up with the Eldians. But uh, you were not wrong for, you know, hating them, fearing them, because they are literally that dangerous. Literally, I think Marley's only flaw in this whole situation was not killing more Eldians. I mean, you could argue Marley needed some of them alive so they can keep passing on the power of the uh, shifters they had and preventing the other shifters they didn't have control of from... Uh, attacking them at some point. But they did not need to leave this many Eldians alive. They really should have just obliterated all but, let's say, 30 or 40 of them and just said, okay, you 40, you're the uh, warrior candidates. Whichever one among you is the strongest, you become the warrior. Uh, we're going to make sure your numbers stay at 40. So uh, if one of you has too many kids, we, we might need to wipe out a few of them. That sounds harsh. Yes, I know. That's a whole lot wrong with that. But the Eldians are literally too dangerous to be allowed to, you know, roam freely. That just... The situation they're in. That's just how they are. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly certain the series can't end in any sort of peace unless they somehow find a way to say, Okay, Ymir, uh, let's not make any more Titans anymore, okay? Okay, no more Titans are going to be made after this point. No one can turn into a Titan. That, that's it. It's, it's over. We're done with this. I mean, I think a lot of us assume that'd be the situation here. Uh, that since Aaron was in command of Ymir, since he was giving her the orders now, and since he had essentially freed her from slavery, that people wouldn't be able to turn into Titans anymore. They wouldn't be able to transform like that because she's not there to make the bodies for them anymore. Uh, I don't know, maybe Zeke's making the bodies now. Maybe that's what he's doing, trying to stop Aaron by making new Titan bodies for the resistance against him. I'm not sure. I'm honestly a little confused about why they can still transform. Maybe those were spare bodies you had already made that she'd never had a chance to use or something. I don't know. This does kind of push me in the direction that maybe this is all going exactly as Aaron foresaw, as Aaron had planned. And that uh, 
Reiner and Annie being able to use the Titan forms, the Resistance being able to oppose him eventually and unite the whole world against him and kill him is all exactly as he arranged it to be. Like, his big plan isn't, I'm going to kill the entire world. It's, I'm going to kill a good chunk of the world. I'm going to unite the whole world against me. They're going to kill me. Then they'll bring an end to the Age Titans and everyone will know peace. Though Aaron has already managed to destroy quite a bit of land. According to Hanji's best estimate, he's already destroyed every city in the northeast part of Marley. So there's a fairly good chance Annie's father's dead, Reiner's family's dead, and Peek's family... Does she have any family? I don't think I've actually... We don't know a lot, a lot about Peek, uh, but fairly certain to say everyone they know might already be dead by now. I mean, if Annie's father managed to, you know, get the gun away from the soldier, managed to start a revolution on his own back on the island, managed to convince people, hey, we need to get the freak out of here or we are going to die. It's possible that those cities could have been evacuated so the death count is fairly low right now. But, uh... I mean, these Titans are very, very fast. I mean, they're, they've matched across the ocean in, what, like two, three days at this point? So, not really sure how long they can, you know, outrun the Titans for. And yes, they have cars and stuff. I'm assuming the Marley as well take the cars for themselves, and the Eldians don't really have a whole lot to say about that. Honestly, it wouldn't really surprise me if the uh, Marlian soldiers just you said, all right, you know what, screw this, pulled pull out guns, shut out as many Eldians as they could, and said, all right, now we've less people to transport, let's get the heck out of here. I'm really not sure about what's happening there, and I'd really like the next chapter just to, you know, take a break from all this bloodshed and just show what's happening over there, how they managed to survive, how, if they managed to survive, if they were killed, what it was like for them when the Titans came over and just started destroying everything. That's a very interesting line from Annie. If it had been you that day, you wouldn't have chosen to destroy the wall, unlike us. And this makes Ryan realize, hey, that's what Aaron meant. He meant that deep down, he and I are the same. If he had been there, if he had been the one who was sent to Paradise Island, if he had been given the task of destroying the wall, killing as many of the people as he could, essentially wiping their entire country off the face of the earth and burning it to the ground... Aaron would have done the same thing. If he had viewed the Paradise Devils as his enemies, as he viewed the Titans as enemies, nothing would have stopped him from exterminating every single last one of them because that's just who Aaron was. He's someone who's willing to do that. He's someone who's willing to get the job done, no matter what the costs are. And it's hard to say if that's true for the rest of them. I mean, don't forget, Armin killed a whole lot of people when he went, you know, Colossal Titan and destroyed the port. I mean... And we never got an exact number, but I'm going to assume it was, you know, at least like 100 people he killed right then and there. Maybe closer to 1,000, honestly. But at the same time, you could argue that was Aaron's plan. Aaron initiated the plan, he started it, and after that, the others had to decide, okay, we can either go along with his plan, or we can leave Aaron to die. We can, And we kind of need Aaron so that the rest of us don't die, so I guess we just have to do this. And in this chapter, Armin and the rest of them, they tried to avoid this. They tried to avoid further bloodshed. They tried to use, they tried to use theatrics, they rolled charisma, Armini managed to whelp some fake tears to convince them, the Colossal Titan and the Car Titan, they got into the water, they got into the water, we have to stop them, and, you know, this plan almost worked, it came very close to working, very close to convincing them, but it didn't, and when it didn't, it went very, very bad, very fast, and as a result, Armin gets shot a whole bunch not gonna lie, when I first read that, I kind of forgot he was a titan and basically unkillable. I mean, seriously, it takes a whole lot to actually kill a shifter. Especially if they know what they're doing. I mean, I mean, don't forget Reiner had his head basically cut off and still managed to survive by putting his brain in his spinal cord somehow. Still have a whole lot of questions about that. So yeah, very hard to kill a titan shifter. But Jesus Christ, though, Sam and Dawes. I mean, I completely forgot about these people to look them up or figure out where the heck they were from. These are people they, you know, went through basic training with, that they lived with for years. They shared a dream with to free Paradise Island, to make it so they never have to fear the Titans again. They can get all the land they need to harvest food, have meat, all the meat they could ever want. And now they are enemies. They consider Connie and Armin to be traitors simply because they don't agree with the whole let's kill a billion people plan. And as a result, Connie is forced to kill his former allies, to kill his former friends. And as the final page says, the dream they had together ends as a nightmare, which could not be more true. And I, I just don't know if they're on the right side anymore. I mean, I said in the beginning of the video, I thought, uh, you know, 
it was kind of wrong of them to try to stop Aaron when stopping Aaron means there's a fairly good chance their friends and family are going to be murdered. But now they're straight up killing their friends so they can stop, possibly kill their other friend from killing the people who want to kill them, which will eventually lead to all of them being killed. I don't think you're on the right side of morals and ethics here anymore. I'm sorry, Armin. I'm sorry, Connie. Uh, I, I kind of, kind of rooting against you at this point. Especially now that Annie and Reiner have transformed, and their only real option at this point is to literally kill every one of the scouts, every one of their former allies, because these guys, they're going to keep fighting to the last breath, because they're fighting to protect their homeland. They know if Aaron fails, if Aaron is stopped, we're going to die. Our families are going to die. Our entire species, our entire race will be wiped off the face of the earth, so we need to fight with literally everything we have. So yeah, this chapter was just a whole mess of craziness, moral ambiguity, and just insanity. Uh, I'm honestly not sure what's going to happen next chapter. I'm guessing Flock's going to die. Though I feel like, you know, he'll find a way to kill one of their own before he goes down. Uh, maybe Connie, maybe Jean, not sure who, but... I, feel, I mean, it feels like they can't, you know, just kill all their former allies and then just walk away with everyone hunky-dory, at least, you know, physically. Now, I can definitely see this ending one of them just, you know, straight up killing themselves because they can't handle this anymore. <sighs> Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, just believe, please let me know what think uh, down below. Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Does that, those words even mean anything anymore at this point? And uh, as for next chapter, um, like I said, uh, the Aaron loyalist, the Jaegerist, uh, they're going to be essentially wiped off the face of the earth completely. I don't think any of them is going to stop fighting until, you know, they're down to the last man, until they're completely wiped out. Because, you know, like I said, they're fighting for their very survival here. Survival of their entire species. And then from there, I guess they're going to take the airboat and find a way to get in touch with Marley, the army, somehow, and say, Hey, listen up, uh, we got, like, five of the Titans with us. The armor, female, colossal... Uh, Cart and Jaws Titan. So why don't we join up with you guys? We also got some uh, Eldians here who are really good at killing Titans. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, we've basically been training them for this their entire lives without even realizing it. Let's all team up together and find a way to kill Aaron. Or stop Aaron. If they're going to kill Aaron. There's no way Aaron can walk away from this. I mean, even if I was right, even if Annie's father somehow managed to find a way to evacuate a number, large number of people, I'm going to assume, you know, just the damage that he's caused... I mean, even before this, I mean, when the guy declared war on Paradise Island, Aaron popped out and killed just a whole bunch of them then and there. No idea how much damage he caused then, but uh, let's assume, like I said, with Armin, at least 100 dead, probably more than that. So, no way Aaron can walk away from this without being tried by somebody executed for his various sins, so he definitely has to die. And hopefully I'll bring an end to the Age of Titans. Hopefully then everyone can live in peace, more or less, you know. Uh, Marleans will still hate the Eldians. But I guess the Eldians can, like, all move to Paradise Island and just live a peaceful life there, a little bit separated from the rest of the world. And over time, after a generation or two, the hatred, the resentment and stuff will go away, maybe? I'm honestly not sure. Honestly, honestly not sure. But let me think all this down below. Be sure to like and subscribe to the next video. Until then, peace.